What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out a slick little dungeon crawler cyberpunk mashup called Conglomerate 451. If you ever played Star Crawlers or you ever played anything like Legend of Grimrock, this game is very similar to that. Except that it's set in a cyberpunk universe where you are doing essentially shadow runs against massive corporations that run the world. You assemble your team, you train them, and then you take them into kind of these randomly generated, I don't even know if they're randomly generated in all honesty, you take them into these missions that are arranged just like Legend of Grimrock where it's square grids that you move the party through and you have combats and you have hacking and you've got to get the mission done in order to destabilize the corporate government. So down with the corporations, I say. Let's play some Conglomerate 451. We're going to go with a new game. Create it right over there. We're going to be on story mode, which I think is a good idea so that you can get an idea for the narrative that the game is going to be offering up to you. We have 75 weeks to complete our mission, and then the game will end. So a little over a year. Like a year and like three months. Like a year and some change. All right. We'll put it on normal difficulty. Sounds good to me. Year 2099, the city of Conglomerate is at war. Sector 451 has become the central battlefield. Corrupted corporations control every criminal activity, making arrangements with gangs of outlaws. As an extreme measure, the city's government has assigned special powers to private agencies, making legal the use of battle clones. Their mission clean up the city from crime, and restore order. At any cost. Director, everything is ready. When do you want? The operator will open the radio contact with the squad. Alpha Team, can you hear me? I analyze the area, and I suggest you land at the edge of the 756 district. The lab is located in the northern area, but it will be protected. You will have to pay attention. Remember the mission's objective, to find the virus before it's synthesized and put on the black market as a bacteriological weapon. I will stay in touch via radio. Good luck. We don't need luck. Where we're going, we have cyberware. I've got hands that shoot laser razors, bro. Do you have hands that shoot laser razors? I don't think you do. I like how the turbines of the car that are keeping it up in the air right there they're also wheels. You can tell that they fold down just in case you need to go straight terrestrial. It's an interesting little detail. Do you receive the images? Director, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, okay. Good. The line's established correctly. The squad is ready on the field and waiting for your orders. I will follow the agents closely to give them support. But enough talking. The game is on. The squad needs to stick together, so splitting up will be fatal. Here's a list of the commands that we can give them. Alright, so we can walk around. We can look around. See what I mean? It's Legend of Grimrock. That's all you need to know about it, is that it's Legend of Grimrock. We don't have to stay on the little lit path right there. We can basically do whatever we want. Apparently, I've been engaged. We are now in a fight. Dude, he hit me with a shotgun. Chill. Apparently, I've also been kicked. Moving up on me, too. Hopefully, our guys are more resilient than I think they are. I couldn't take a shotgun blast and then a baseball bat to the face. But maybe the cybered out, you know, industrial, the industrial corpo clone warriors are a little bit more. They got a stiffer chin than I was gifted by my uh, heredity, okay? The city streets are dangerous. Gangs of criminals will stop the agents, but fear not. I will now explain to you how to deal with them. When you get close to an enemy squad, you have combat. Okay. Everybody has initiative, so the order's up there. And then during combat, we'll have to use skills in order to wipe out the, en the enemy. If we hold down the button, we can learn about the skills. So we've got accurate shot right there. Uh, we've got ourselves Blast, which is an AoE. That sounds pretty good. So I can blast those two guys in the front for like 33 damage. We've got Death Shot. Apparently, if I mark an enemy, it'll do 70% more damage. And then we've also got Torment. 
So it's radiation damage. We contaminate the enemy with radiation, and they will take 30% of the damage dealt per turn. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and open up with blast, I guess. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. We vaporized one guy. He's just, like, gone. He didn't even know what hit him. He just now no longer exists. Uh, we also have regeneration. This is apparently like our medic. We've got a neurostimulator. That's going to allow people to have 100 more initiative. We've got purification tech over here. It'll remove all of our debuffs. And then we've got a painkiller, which will remove the drain status. I think that what I'd like to do is that we should probably heal somebody. Like, I think we took a little bit of a scuffing from that first unload. All right, so what do we have here? We have single shot. We have a stunning shot. I think a stunning shot's a really good idea. What else do we have here? We have a barrier, and then we have conflagrate, which is an area of attack that does quite a bit. But I think we're going to go for a stunning shot. Oh, apparently I can target individual body parts, too. So, like, we knocked the leg out from underneath that guy. Nice. Okay, take him out. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Vaporize that dude. Yup. I'm going to throw around a couple heals just in case. I don't think we've taken that much damage. But just in case, I think it negated the damage from the first turn. Because these guys should be more hurt than they actually are. I'm going to try and stun this guy now. Nice. So the stun went out. Let's go for a laser blast right there. Yup. And combat is... Oh, ooh, he dropped loot. What did he drop? He dropped a REM resource module. A collection of resources dropped by the enemy. You could acquire interesting stuff. Okay. What did we get? Does it say what we got? Do I get like a like a list that tells me what happened here? Can I go inside this door? I can't go inside that door. I've I've rubbed myself against the door amorously and it still doesn't want to open. Go figure. You can check the mission target. Remember to check it from time to time. I gotta find an elevator. All right, I can do that. Let's go find an elevator. 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 There we go. I I'd, uh, I'd light it up like Michael McDonald for a second. Michael McDonald in the future. People don't even know who Michael McDonald is anymore. Every time I make a reference, I just date myself. And that's okay, because somebody's got to date me. Ooh, we're on like a spooky floor. This is the mission map. We can press M to open it on up. Okay. Uh, I am absolutely pressing the M key right now. But apparently it doesn't care about that. It was just telling me that I could do it, not that I had to do it. Find a viral sample. Dude, they've got like those crazy desks and chairs over here. They've got these awesome chairs, but they didn't spring for like a standing desk. Like I feel like if you're going to spend like 350 bucks on an Art Deco chair, you might as well also get like one of the desks that'll raise up by like three or four feet so you can stand up while you work just in case. Uh, let's try to hack it. All right, so closed doors can be opened using different ways. Some need mag keys. Others will need to find a terminal. In any case, all closed doors can be hacked. Select an agent to hack this part. All right. Do I have anybody that's, like, good at hackinating? It looks like Requiem is the only one that's decent at hacking. All right, to open the door, we've got to rotate the logical disks that will match up the shapes. All right. You must act quickly. The door is on a time system. If it expires, you fail the hacking. All right. Oh, I got to rotate it like so. There we go. Okay, I see it now. We got to go all the way back around this way. Nice. And then there's some kind of cyber ninja up here. Who t who failed to tell me that we were going to be dealing with cyber ninjas that hang out inside corporate vaults? Hey, we get to act first. Nice. Even enemies can be hacked. Everybody nowadays has cyber implants that can be breached. Press right click to go to the, oh, yeah, let's do it. Let's see here. So we have the Beholder Offensive. It will hack the enemy's core to collect data. We've got the Beacon, which will increase our base damage, I guess. We've got a Resistance to Mark Effect. We can lower their resistance. Okay. All right. Well, let's go with that one right there. It's... The easiest thing for us to do, and it doesn't cost us any resources. So now we know that they have 30 HP and 80 shield right there. I don't think any of this stuff was a thing the last time. We checked this game out like a year ago, but it was pretty simple back then. Now there was like an opening cinematic. We can hack enemies now. Like, you weren't able to do that before as far as I can tell. So it's good to see this little early access title 
like moving on up. Hacking the enemy is a good strategy. Just remember to check your agent's battery. It is a precious resource. So we're still running on like iPhone batteries, even though we're like way up in the future, huh? All right, that's fine. Whatever. I don't need to heal anybody or anything like that. That did use up her turn, however, which is kind of a bummer. Does she have any secondary stuff she can do? We can move the squad. We can shield recharge. We can do a character sheet. We can skip our turn. Okay. I don't know what I need to do right now. We don't really have... She doesn't have anything offensive. Everything of hers is defensive or curative. So, did I say defensive? Oh, good lord. My brain's falling apart, chat. My brain is falling apart. One piece at a time, falling to the floor. Uh, let's do stunning shot to see if we can steal a turn from this lady. There we go. Perfect. She seems kind of tough. Does she mark the target with any of these? Whew. That was a nasty hit right there. What did we get out of that thing? Uh, we got credits. We got some tech. We got some lifeine. And then we've got a Spoo Legendary and then a Hatco something. All right. I don't think that you could even pick up loot off the ground when we played this game last time. I think you just got the loot at the end of the battle or whatever. And, like, I'm seeing some pretty cool things in here. I wonder if the virus sample's in there. It doesn't look like there's any way to access that room, though. So maybe we'll just keep trucking forward. Does that need to be hacked? It's got an advanced mechanism. I can open it, but it'll take time. Try using the scanner to search for devices which we could extract shared processor units. Okay, so left shift will scan the area. I'm working to open the door. In the meantime, use the scanner. There he is. A device that we can loot. Try extracting the SPU. All right, so we've got an SPU extraction right here. She's got a 44 in hardware. Yeah, have mouse do it. All right, so shared processor units are versatile processors that you can install in your agent's equipment in order to get them bonuses and powers. Nice. Okay. Sounds like a plan to me. You're extracting SPUs. In the right panel, you can find the stats. So we will get an SPU that gives survival instinct, resistance to stun, and base damage to arms. I guess. Okay. So we need to cut connectors on the SPU's panel with the right timing, but pay attention to the device temperature. If it reaches maximum, the device will melt and the SPU will be burned. So basically, I've got to snip these things. Got him. There it is. Perfect. You extracted the SPUs. When you come back to your headquarters, you'll be able to install them. Nice. So apparently I'm better at shooting people in the elbow now. Ah, you did it. Bravo. While you were having fun with the drop, I opened the door. Don't everybody thank me at once. All right. My sensors have indicated the presence of a bomb. I knew this mission would end badly. The bomb is active. We must hurry. All right. Well, I'm going to do what I can. I can't promise anything. But uh, we'll light them up, I guess. Yeah, I guess get people stacked up against debuffs real quick. And then I'm just going to stick with... If I have AoEs, I'm going to stick with those. He's got a lot of little doggies and whatnot around him. So I think his dogs are disabled. Can I mark any of these guys? Doesn't look like it. The Anomaly Ravens. Is it dead or is it not dead? What does that mean? It's got like a little thing on It's dying? Well, help it die even more. I mean, we don't really need... Yeah, let's just keep putting debuff protection on everybody, I guess. She doesn't really have a whole lot of things that she can run. We've got affected by radiation. Do I have anything that will radiate somebody? I'm looking for combos here is what I'm really looking for. Uh, he resisted the stun, unfortunately. I get the feeling this guy's really going to hurt us. Well, we resisted the damage. It wasn't as bad as it could have been. Didn't I have a radiation shot or something like that? Yeah, there it is. Irradiate this guy. Oh, he resisted it. That's not good. I wonder if I can move the squad over to there and hack the bomb. Like to keep it for this guy's got a lot of HP and he's kind of tanking everything that I've thrown at him. 
It's got me a little tiny bit worried. There's a little more damage, but I didn't see his meter move around anywhere. Yikes. Yeah, this guy is uh, really, really tanking us right now. I'm going to say we should move. You cannot move the squad if you have already performed an action. Wait for the next turn. Okay. Can I move now? No. Okay. Well, I suggest we just keep shooting and hope for the best. Are we back at the turn order now? Okay, so move the squad upwards and over. Can I do anything with this? I think we may be required to get blowed up here. Like, I can't prove anything, but I'm trying to get to this bomb. And it doesn't look like there's any interactivity with the bomb. I think we might all be dead. Normally when the screen flashes dead, 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 dead at me. I usually assume that it's right. The day after. Ah, finally, you have arrived. Take a seat, please. So yesterday, you completed your last training mission. You failed. Every agent has died because of the bomb. But you need to know that the mission is a test impossible to beat. It's a classic Kabayashi Maru situation. The objective is not to beat the scenario, but to put you in a no-win situation and watch your reactions. And you did great. So starting today, you'll be assigned to a new agency in Sector 451. Well done, Director. So we Kobayashi Maru'd it. I had a Welcome feeling that was the case. Welcome to your new agency's headquarters. Hey. I'm Clarice, your office assistant. Nice to meet you. If you don't mind, we need to fill out a couple of documents before you take office. Alright, let's do it. The agency name is Valhalla. Nope, we're gonna call it... We're gonna call it... I gotta get this... We're gonna call it Siegfried. And it's gotta be an acronym for something. Let me know what you think our acronym should be for Siegfried, all right? Because, like, Siegfried, he went to the top of the mountain to slay the dragon and rescue Brunhilde, or whatever her name was. And so that's what we're doing right now. We are slaying the criminal dragon to rescue the fair city. We gotta find something that's got, like... We gotta, we gotta find something... There we go. We'll say that that's it right there, because it's got, like, a sword, and then it's got, like, an Illuminati... It's got, like, an Illuminati thing going on. I'm gonna take it. Great. Everything will be recorded and sent to the administration department. Now, if you want to follow me, I'll lead you into the agent's quarters. Here you will meet your current agent's squad. You know, I've just come to the conclusion that I've never actually spelled Siegfried or seen it in writing before. I may have misspelled that. Did I misspell it, guys? That's okay. We misspelled it on purpose for the acronym. It's okay. We've got a cloning center now. And I'm Elise Delacroix. The Chief of Staff. The center is equipped with advanced technology and a mutations database. We should research them in the research center, but it's enough to talk about details. Follow me and I'll help you create your first squad. All right, let's do it. So, we can go auto mode and three basic agents will be made for us, or we can do it by hand. I prefer to go hands-on. We can have a soldier, an infiltrator, and a drifter. All right, I'll make a soldier first. Apparently, we have Tyrell Dollins. Sounds good. Uh, we gotta pick his attacks. I do like single shot. We should probably have that. Stunning shot is dope, too. We can have conflagrate, which is an AoE, as I recall. Is that what that is? Is it a blast attack? 
And then we have Outburst. What does Outburst do? Outburst does more damage versus androids. Okay. I'm going to give him an AoE just to say that I did. And then I'll probably go with first aid. Like, give him something he can throw on himself. He has normal DNA, but apparently later on we can actually accumulate other DNAs so that we can, like, mix people together and make, like, lizard people and, like, bird people and stuff like that. So that sounds pretty rad. Let's create the clone. Yep, throw him inside the test tube. Oh my god, it's printing his bones. Oh, that's horrifying. I don't like that at all. All right, so we have Tyrell Dollins. I have to choose a name for him. We'll just call him like, so we're going to call this guy Haymaker. Perfect. He's got to have a good cyberpunk name, man. And then we'll give him a red border to denote that he's a soldier. You got to have like a shadow run name. You got to have a street name. Uh, we'll make a infiltrator. And then we've got accurate shot. We've got blast, which is good. Uh, we'll go with Death Mark, and then we'll go with Death Shot, I think. And then she'll have normal DNA, and we'll confirm her clothing, cloning. I don't know what I would do if I saw this cloning process taking place in real life. Like, that would be, at the same time, a ridiculous... Like, it would be a ridiculous acknowledgement of the power of science at that point in time in human history. But at the same time, there's a certain thing about it that's also kind of terrifying. Uh, we gotta name our infiltrator. I'll name her Smoke. Sounds good. And then our infiltrators will be a perfect uh, purple color. And we need one more agent. We've got a Drifter. Alright. Uh, he's got Electrocute. He's got Death Mark. But he doesn't need to take Death Mark because we already got it. Although, I guess we could take Death Mark, but we'll go Swift Strike, we'll go Pulse, and we've got Improved Weapon. Oh, wow, that raises a squad member's damage by 25%. That's not too bad. Or I can heal Radiation. Yeah, let me get that, just in case. Being able to get my way out of a nasty status effect seems like a pretty good idea. So, Philippe Pendley is now our Drifter. It seems like the Drifter uses, like, an Electro Whip or something like that, so... I don't know what I want to name this guy. What should we name our Drifter? I'm just going to name him Cromley, because that's a great name right there. That's a fantastic name. Drifters will be green, I guess. We don't have a Medic, though, which is kind of terrifying. I would like to have a Medic. We have limited HP to get our missions done. So we can go to our quarters. Our agents will hang out here. We can find their strong and weak points, train them, or install our cyber limbs. So it's actually got kind of like a Syndicate-style thing going on right now. It's pretty rad. So apparently I can upgrade things. We've got a shield class right here, a tribute pistol that we can take a look at. Uh, as far as their skills go, we can train their skills or whatever if we really want to. I don't think we need to, but it says that basically we don't have enough things unlocked right now to really do what we want to do. So I would guess that we probably need to go to the research center. Nice to meet you, Director. I'm Nalisa Harris, the agency head of research and development. I'm looking forward to working with you. Feel free to ask me anything you need, and I and my team will work night and day to reach the target. But for now, let me present to you the research center. It's got five different sections, and they will allow you to improve a specific technology for the agency. Please visit one of the sections, and I'll explain more. Okay, so let's go with cloning tech. One of the five sections. You can check the research tree and select items based on the diagram in order to start new research. It takes credits in tech, and then to get advanced research, you'll have to complete previous researches. Alright, so for like a thousand bucks and fifteen hundred tech, we can get cloning tech. Specialized staff were able to work on future research, starting new research areas for the cloning tech. Okay, we've got military tech over here where we can do something similar. This one's a thousand and five hundred. That's a lot cheaper, so I'll probably start with that, I guess. Yeah, we'll go ahead and sign it off. So we have a research area that has now been completed. That's taken us over to what looks like weapon upgrades. We've got shield upgrades. And then down this way, once we get shield upgrades, we get a tech discount. And then we get a technology discount. Okay. Let's go with cyber tech real fast. That's 10,000 technology right there. So that's pretty pricey. We can't afford that. Training tech we can afford. So we'll buy that. There we go. And so now we officially have training tech. Sounds good. Mm, with healing tech, are we going to need that? We can afford it. 
I suppose if we can afford it. So we've got completed first regeneration tank unlocked. Now you can heal agents wounds. Nice. That's probably something we're going to need considering the last time I ran agents. I got them all blown up and murdered. I don't think we have enough tech left to buy any of the other stuff that's available. So I think we're just going to have to dive back on into it. Let's go to the director's office, I guess. So this is your office. You will have communiques and news about your agency and your staff. We've got a perks list with the current status overview. The most common way to improve these values is by increasing your reputation, but perhaps there are other ways. All right. Or we can start a new mission. As you should be the new director, I'm Caleb Ice Wenham, the operator, and she's Ego. I'll be your voice and you will... I will be your voice and you will during missions. That's a weird sentence. You need to just command and I'll report the words to the squad on the field. All right, Ego will be your eye. She will always be with the squad recording and broadcasting the events in real time. I assume you're very busy, but before you go, give me a moment to tell you what's the current situation. I'll be quick. So Sector 451 of Conglomerate City is under the influence of corporations, four of them. Your job is to free the sector by completing missions. The Hive is a collection of apartments, corridors, and walkways in the midst of semi-abandoned buildings. The Hive is now inhabited by gangs and criminal pariahs who cannot even pay a decent dwelling with the few credits they earn. All right. Well, then I suppose we'll start off with that. You ready for a first mission? Good worries. She'll be all right. Just play it safe. It's a dangerous place. Good luck, Director. So we've got something over there, I guess. And it's a secret job. Classified assignment must be carried out. Your squad skills will be put to the test. We will get $10,000 and we will get 3,500 tech. But we will do that the next time around. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like on it. It helps me out as a content creator. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie gaming every single day so that you don't have to. Today we had Conglomerate 451. My initial impressions of the game are pretty pretty positive, actually. The game looks really good when you're actually on the grid playing it. Some of the lighting and reflective effects, they make it feel very futuristic and toned. Uh, one of the things I think that they could probably do a little bit better is I'd like to see a little bit more personalization or a little bit more stylization to the portraits of the agents that you get. For right now, it seems like they're just taking a snapshot of the 3D model, so that might not be avoidable. But being able to customize your agents a little bit might be kind of cool, and we might be able to do that later on in the game. We just can't do it right now. But I do think that these look a little bit plain. Like, I think maybe like a background behind it that matches up with instead of maybe having this little frame right here like maybe have these guys be like a transparency with a background behind them based on what their class is that might look pretty good and then you could just change the color of the thing behind them but either way this game is in development right now you can check it out at a link down below that I'll have for you and aside from that I will see you all tomorrow with something hot and fresh off the skillet I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for being here today bye everybody